The uh, second big reason that we see uh, declining magnesium is the refined foods. So when you refine foods, you often take out not only just the fiber, but a lot of the minerals come out as well. So when you process wheat to flour, there's an estimated 82% loss of magnesium. When you go from rice to polished rice, you lose 83%. And from corn to corn starch, it's about 97% of the magnesium is lost. The third big reason is the softening of water. So this is estimated to contribute about 10% of our recommended daily allowance of magnesium. And one of the things that happens is that in the water supply, you actually get calcium and magnesium. If you, if you ever have well water, you may notice this and uh, there's a lot of minerals and they tend to cause a lot of problems with the pipes because they cause this scale, which can block the pipe and you have to scrape it and so on. So a lot of municipal water supplies, for example, are going to soften that water. So it's not gonna cause so many problems with the pipes, but the problem is you're going to lose a lot of that magnesium that we used to get. Number four is alcohol and, uh, and soft drinks. Uh, soft drinks contain a lot of phosphoric acid and the alcohol may increase the urinary excretion of magnesium. Number five uh, might be medical conditions that contribute on certain medications. So in people with uh, gastrointestinal disease, such as inflammatory bowel disease, Crohn's ulcerative colitis, they may not absorb celiac disease, you may not absorb properly. And also if you're taking certain medications such as diuretics or the so-called water pills, then they may also increase the loss of urinary magnesium. So the, 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 the point of magnesium supplementation is that there are some very interesting studies that have looked at whether supplementing magnesium can make a difference. In 2016, this randomized control trial looked at magnesium on the pressure wave velocity, which is measuring the stiffness of your arteries. Remember, this is a process called arteriosclerosis or the so-called hardening of the arteries. And uh, after 24 weeks, there was in fact a difference um, that you could actually have an improvement in arteriosclerosis leading to a change in the pressure wave velocity. And even though it's a small study and a short duration, um, if you extrapolate those results, the author suggests that it could uh, translate into real decreases in cardiovascular disease up to 7%. The um, meta-analysis of randomized controlled trials in here showed that supplements could uh, decrease inflammation such as measured with C-reactive protein or CRP and also nitric oxide. Nitric oxide uh, being the gas that tends to relax the blood vessels. Again, uh, magnesium sort of being that relaxing uh, mineral.